Good afternoon, my name is Derek Bontrager with Elton C. Stutzman Inc. Uh, this afternoon I'm standing next to one of the newest lines here at Stutzman's, the Artex Manure Spreaders. These manure spreaders are uh, built in uh, Redwood Falls, Minnesota. Uh, we've just took the line on here this spring. We're, we've been doing some demos with them here lately. Uh, the Artex spreaders are basically, they're heavy built. Uh, they're built to outperform and outlast any other competitor on the market. One of the big selling points on the Artex spreader is our unbeatable undercarriage. Uh, we're using heavy steel and a heavy reinforced frame underneath these spreaders. There's also uh, lining underneath the floor is uh, heavier angle iron and, and it's reinforced and braced to handle the tougher loads that we're going to throw in there. Our undercarriage underneath here happens to have a uh, leaf spring suspension under each axle. Uh, the axles we're using the the heavier duty 500 flotation tires on this one it's got a 10 bolt rim underneath there in fact our spreaders from the 400 cubic foot on up to the 800 cubic foot all use a very similar undercarriage and in fact it's it's overbuilt to handle the tougher loads that you're going to put onto these the floor is a half inch thick it is one piece of uh, high molecular weight poly that runs from front to back we bolt it in the front, leave it unbolted in the back so that the floor can float up and down over time depending on the weather conditions, depending on the materials that you're using. That way our floor is less susceptible to cracking, heaving, bulging, anything where the chain can run across it. We do use a chain or an apron chain in here. It's one of the heaviest apron chains in the industry um, that feeds our double, double vertical beaters which are also one of the heaviest built vertical beaters in the industry. We're using 5 8 inch thick steel on those beaters. Our, most of our competitions using either 3 8 or half inch steel. One of the questions I get asked about these nurse spreaders with them having an apron chain on the floor is that, Derek, if that spreader has an apron chain, it's gonna involve more maintenance. What maintenance am I gonna have to do? Well, our tax is selling point is the chain uses virtually no maintenance other than an, other than a periodic stretching that's all it takes uh, the only other maintenance required is to oil a couple of chains on the back on the back side in the sprockets here and to use a grease gun to hit there's three grease banks along the side of the spreader and then just the greasing that are on the that's on the PTO drive line and that's it Two other features of our Artex spreader. The first one, our guillotine gate. The guillotine gate goes straight up and straight down, but it can be positioned in any position, anywhere between all the way up and all the way down to meter out the manure as it's coming out the back end. Typically with the cattle manure, we're gonna run it all the way up. Uh, on some of our poultry litter, we're gonna run that somewhere in between as to meter out what we're putting through the beaters. So. The other feature is the beaters themselves. You can see them here in this shot. Um, like I said before, we're using a 5 8 inch thick beater. Uh, these beaters are very heavy. They do a really good job. Uh, in our demos, we're finding that we're getting manure spread out uh, at least to a 50 foot wide pattern, if not wider, uh, just depending on the type of the manure that we're spreading. One other feature to add is both our gate and the beaters can be removed if you wanted to stockpile manure or there's also the option for putting a silage gate on the back for using the spreader to haul silage. If you would like more information on the Artex spreaders, feel free to give us a call here at Stutzman's uh, or just stop in, take a look at the spreaders or go to our website uh, at stutzmans.com.